Hi, my name is Ryan Gensler. I'm from the University of Virginia. And thank you for tuning in to hear about the ASCO annual meeting. Um, I'm going to summarize some of the key take home points from the metastatic session for lung cancer. Um, it was a really wonderful meeting and we saw a lot of new exciting data. And I think that the data really falls into three main categories in my mind. There was some update uh, from several abstracts about first line immunotherapy combinations. Uh, we saw uh, updates from the Checkmate 9LA trial. Uh, this was a two year update um, from a trial that enrolled patients and treated with chemotherapy for two cycles plus uh, nivolumab plus ipilimumab. Um, we saw an FDA pooled analysis um, looking at the difference between chemotherapy and immunotherapy compared to chemo or immunotherapy alone in patients with a PDL1 score of 1 to 49%. Uh, and then we also saw a pooled analysis of immune-related adverse events um, and how they impacted efficacy uh, for patients on uh, several atezolizumab-containing trials. And I think the take-home point from that was that immune-related adverse events may predict improved overall survival, meaning those that have an immune response and develop adverse events uh, seem to do better in terms of overall survival. Uh, the second main category was biomarker testing. We saw a couple of abstracts looking at the frequency of biomarker testing uh, in the United States. The first was a U.S. oncology trial or analysis um, that looked at how often patients were tested for common things like EGFR, ALK, ROS1, as well as PDL1. And what they found is that uh, only half of patients roughly are getting biomarker testing for, for four or five of these biomarkers. Uh, even fewer patients are getting NGS testing. Uh, the second abstract um, looked at racial disparities in biomarker testing. And what they found was that most patients um, are, are getting biomarker testing at least one test. Uh, but when you look at NGS testing, um, again, only about half of patients are getting uh, NGS testing. And there's about a 10% difference uh, based on race, meaning those that are white race um, were 10% higher rates of NGS testing compared to those with black or African-American uh, race, really highlighting um, that there more needs to be done in narrowing the, the disparities between uh, biomarker testing and, and race. Uh, finally, I think the third category um, where we saw several abstracts that are noteworthy is the novel targeted therapies. We saw updated data uh, that was presented at previous meetings on sotorasib for KRAS G12C. This is now FDA approved. Um, we also saw updated data from the uh, patrutumab, uh, deruxtecan, or HER3 DXD in patients with EGFR lung cancer. And finally, we saw uh, new data from a combination of amivantamab plus lazertinib for patients with EGFR mutations who had progressed on prior osimertinib. Uh, the data from these trials look promising with high 30% response rates um, in this group of previously treated patients, perhaps offering new targeted therapies uh, for these patients who have progressed on osimertinib. So I encourage you to look up the abstracts of this meeting um, and, and you know, thank you for your attention.